Hi there, my name is Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to continue on with the Umbrella Academy. So in the last episode of the Umbrella Academy, the, one of my main important takeaways from that was we finally realised that Leonard isn't who we think he is. I knew from the beginning that he was going to be more than just a new friend or a student, a violent student. He definitely knows that there is something up with Vanya, something to do with her powers, because he's taken her medication and without it, she, like she said that she's been taking it like since forever, and without it, I'm pretty damn sure we're going to start seeing Vanya manifest something. Why he did it, I don't know yet. Is it because he is good or is it because he is bad? Klaus was taken by Hazel and Chacha and even though he did give them the information that they were looking for, with the help of Ben and because he was without his um, drugs for so long, he was starting to sober up and with that sobriety, the ghosts started coming towards him. From what I understand, all the ghosts that were um, bugging him were victims of Hazel and Chacha. Eudora saved him. Unfortunately, she was killed in the process, which is so sad. Uh, Diego found her. What he's going to do now is anyone's guess. Klaus was able to escape, like I said. He went into the vent, into the vent, found the briefcase. I think like as soon as he opened it up, he was gone. Clearly a time traveling suitcase. <laughs> we also got a little bit more backstory. We also got a little bit more backstory on Luther and how he became uh, this beast, I suppose you could say. And he was given the same kind of serum that Crad Pogo. Uh, unfortunately, it, it saved him, but unfortunately the side effects uh, are what they are. So we're going to go straight into the next episode of the Umbrella Academy, episode 5. Let's do it. Oh, who's there? She's got a briefcase. We could have banded together and helped you try to stop this thing. For the record, you already tried. I found all of you. Oh. Your body. This was clutched in your dead hand when I found you. Must have ripped it out of their head right before you went down. Our brother's been pretty busy since he got back. It's after the guy's mask attacked the academy looking for him. None of which is any of your concern. It is now. They just killed my friend. A woman called the Handler. She sent them to stop me. Ah. Uh, go to the diner with the donuts. You wouldn't hear the author I'm about to make you. Sometimes people make choices that alter time. When that happens, we dispatch one of our agents to eliminate the threat. You're not a target. You're a recruit. Wanted to stop all of this from ever happening. All of this, it was supposed to happen. That's insane. The end of everything? Not everything. Just the end of something. They turned me into the perfect instrument for rehabilitation of the time continuum. Is that JFK? I didn't realize it, but I was biding my time, trying to figure out the right equation, so I could get back. So I broke my contract. Cool thing it from the other perspective. Oh, Klaus. Oh, what has he seen? Where did he go? Hands are all bloody. What is he wearing? He's got dog tags on. I'm gonna have to save it for later because I'm meeting Leonard for breakfast. Well, how well do you know him? Well, enough to get breakfast if that's what you're asking. It's just after yesterday, I don't. I have a bad feeling. I need to know, I need to know, I need to know that he's doing it for a good reason, like actual good reason, to help her in a good way. 
not help her be the monster she's supposed to be, which I just know she's going to be incredibly powerful. They're holding auditions for the first year of my orchestra. Wait a second. What Why? Happened to the other girl? No, she just stopped showing up. Well, good. What did you do? Get a chance to audition. Fuck. He's done something to her. He wants to let her power out for some reason. 173rd Airborne. He joined. He went back in time and joined the army. He's got PTSD. Dude, you need some help. Don't remember the dog tax. Tattoo? You know, I can recognize the symptoms, Klaus. Symptoms of what? You gonna tell me about it? You were with the hounds when they broke into the house and they couldn't find you? They took me hostage instead. Okay, how long were you gone? Almost a year. <laughs> Bless you. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, Jesus. Here he is. Al Peabody. What made her look here? Just drop me off here. Mm hmm. Foreign walls. Did he meet someone back then? He did, didn't he? No. Uh -oh. Oh, good one, Diego. Threat. Hey, guys. This bar, it's for vets only. I am a vet. Really? Where'd you serve? None of your business. All right, my brother's just had a few too many. Let's just call it a day. I'll go our own way. Let it go. I want to hear him. I'd like to apologize. That you are depriving some village of their idiot <laughs> oh who is in that photo Klaus obviously yep he did meet someone there another year or so I will have saved enough to go she's not gonna make it I want to fast track your timeline It's so adorable. It's not going to end well, though. Don't tell me everything is all right because I saw you in there. You were crying like a baby. Because I lost someone. The only person I've ever truly loved more than myself. What the fuck happened to him back there? When you lose someone, at least you can see them whenever you want. You know that guy? How could you possibly know that he and a really angry lady tortured me? I barely got out with my life. Holy oh, shit. Thanks. Where, where'd you get that? Dad's room. It's similar to the model I used at work. This guy, Milton, is just an innocent man. It's basic math. His death could potentially save the lives of billions. We don't do this kind of thing. We are not doing anything. I am. I can't let you go and kill innocent people, Mike, no matter how many lives you'll save. Well, good luck stopping me. You're not going anywhere. Oh! I know she's important to you, so don't make me do this. I can keep doing this all day. That's funny at all, but you're not kept in America. Stop it. You are unbelievable. You're trying to dig up dirt on a guy that I like? Who does that? And for the first time, someone thinks I'm special. Well, you're not my mother. Worry about your own daughter. Oh. You had to know coming in like this was, wasn't going to go well. Oh, okay. So what exactly is the Jesus, Klaus. <laughs> oh. Is this all part of your master plan? Shut up. What is your name again? Vanya. Louder, please. Vanya Hargreaves. Shaky bow. 
Oh, Allison. Can you hear that? Look, something's happening with the music. You're going to get caught. What does it do to you, though? That's what I want to know. So where is a kid? Well, that's how you're going to start. You know, we can get right back in our car and call it a day. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh I love her look I love her hair what time do they live in professional about my family what about them I want them to survive five. He went with them. Here. Come get it. So here it is again. What is it? Mm-hmm. He knows. He knows what's happening. And you understand that the children can never know. I understand. Well, there you go. That was episode five of the Umbrella Academy. I went into this episode, you know, not not a lot of questions, but I've come out of it with so many more. Clearly, Vania's powers have manifested. What it does, though, I don't know. I mean, when she was playing the violin and those waves were coming off her, and it hit those people, they were drawn into what she was into what she was doing. And I'm pretty sure that Pogo saw, or has at least felt that something's gone on. And he's brought Mother back online and told her that the kids can never know. What can't they know? What is this power that uh, Vanya has? How does it affect other people? And is it going to be the catalyst which brings about the apocalypse? It looks like Five has made some kind of deal and he has gone with the lady and back to I don't know are they from the future or are they from a certain future a world a certain world I don't know what does that mean for those left behind Klaus came back from the 1960s clearly he was drafted or joined up to the military he said that he was there for almost a year and he met someone there he met a guy there I'm, I'm assuming that he died in, in war and that's what's haunting him as well. I do hope that we get a bit of backstory as to what happened back then. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay updated with future videos. If you have an idea for a series that you would like me to react to, pop it down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for episode 6 of the Umbrella Academy. Bye!